Hi, this is Luke Raymond from Anaxis Security Systems. Today's topic is going to be really simple. It's going to be analog cameras versus IP cameras. Which one to choose? Why to choose them? What are the advantages and disadvantages? Firstly, analog cameras are pretty simple. They use a BNC connector and coaxial cables, such as these BNC connectors and coaxial cables to communicate back to the DVR. These cameras are pretty simple in that it's a one BNC back to the DVR per channel. In all cases, this is a function of how many channels we have on the DVR. So we're very limited on scalability. Now, the cameras themselves are actually a little bit less expensive than they are IP equivalents and can have quite a high resolution. But the higher we go in the resolution, the shorter the distance we can actually get over that coaxial cable due to the limitations of coax itself. Inside it's one single uh, strand of copper and that means that it's uh, subject to electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference, which causes the higher resolution you go, the shorter of a distance you can go. Another uh, limitation is actually the power itself. Analog cameras require additional power, which means additional cabling. And each one of these cables can then be passed, usually an 18-2 or, or a 16-2, out to a power supply. Now, at Anaxis, we do actually sell power supplies. We manufacture them here in Canada, our PowerPlex series. But this adds an extra element to the installation. You have to have your power, you have to have the cabling to it, as well as your coaxial cable itself. So from a scalability perspective, analog kind of limits you. Now, if you're doing a smaller application, um, up to five megapixels, call it shorter distances, five, 10 cameras maximum, analog might be your better choice. But when it comes to IP, IP cameras can go a much higher resolution. We have IP cameras that are multi-sensor, uh, four cameras in one housing that do up to 20 megapixels and all over one Cat5 cable. Because by nature, uh, networking cameras, you can run multiple cameras over a single Cat5 cable. Now these connectors allow for, for, yes, in some cases, one camera to one NVR, and in some cases we have multi-sensor cameras, as I mentioned, that can have up to four sensors in a single housing all over one Cat5 cable back to your NVR. But the major advantage of IP is that you can then uh, scale the system using structured cabling, bringing multiple NVRs from multiple locations in larger facilities all back to centralized switches, then bringing these switches back to centralized recording if you want. In this case, allowing you to use things like VMSs, massive storage servers, which we actually also build in-house here in Canada. The other advantage of IP is that the cameras themselves don't have a limit on the amount of, um, of resolution you can have. It's a question of the bandwidth. As long as the Cat5 cable can handle the amount of bandwidth, we actually can do 4K cameras. We have cameras that do up to 20 megapixels on a single Cat5 cable. So much larger resolution, much more scalable. And the ability to use VMSs for larger applications, IP is usually your choice. So which one is better, analog or IP? The answer is it depends on your application. If you're choosing the right solution for your application, then that's the camera you should go with. In our case, Inaxis Security Systems is a global a manufacturer and distributor of both analog and IP solutions. In either case, we have them in our Storm brand, and in the case of IP, we actually have our Legend fully NDA compliant brand. Please reach out to us, we'll help you make the best choice. Leave your information in the comments below if you have any questions, and we're happy to reach out. Cheers. Wow.